patent pending support. Um, this is where we absolutely are looking at um, the time commitments of uh, individual senior project personnel. It includes just about everything, folks. Um, th this is not just um, your organization, but um, uh, j just about any, including the uh, individual organization itself that may provide internal resources dedicated to that. Um, we can't charge extra above the institutional. However, should we mention academic year in the project? Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. Yes, you could, can mention contributions. For example, if a faculty member is planning on working um, three months on the pro in the academic year on the project, they can put that in the facilities, equipment, and other resources section. And that's very helpful for reviewers because they then don't see any time on the budget so they're wondering, you know, when are these faculty members going to be working on the project? So that kind of ties those two pieces very nicely together for that. No, you can't charge above your institutional policy, but you can still charge two months, or you could put two months, you could pour more than two months and justify in the budget justification why you're asking more. Mm -hmm. But what are we looking for here? Time commitments. Does the PI have, or senior project personnel, have sufficient time? This is a pre-award document. We are not using this document after an award is made. So for example, in the early years of two months, we would find our IG questioning amounts that were put on the current and pending support. I said it's a moving target. They have to put current, pending, planned. It's a moving target. So this is a document that is being used for planning purposes up to and when an award is made. It, we use it for no other post-award purposes at NSF. For the current and pending, what do you do with that information? Well, that's what we do with it. Um, we use it to assess um, time commitments. I'm sorry, here you go. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so for faculty time, how, how do you sort that out in the um, proposal? So there'll be some teaching time and some research time. So you keep talking about like two months or three months. Is there like a ceiling on the faculty's time that they can be paid through the proposal? or? Well, it's two months across all. the official NSF policy is that faculty and senior personnel can be paid two months across all NSF funded grants. Okay, so that's the maximum. That's uh, unless, as the language goes on, you ask for more in the budget and you justify it in the budget justification and it's approved as part of the program officer review and the approved budget. 